Hello everyone, welcome to Budget Exam Prep. So today I am going to discuss the shortcut way to calculate the entropy of a extended source. So in this Tricopedia session, I have already shared the 11 tricks uh, in, before this uh, from the signal sense system, EMFT and communication. Now this is also the topic from the communication. So before starting the session, uh, let me introduce myself. So this is Sakit Verma and I have done MTech from IIT Guwahati in signal processing. And I am bringing you a concept or a shortcut to calculate the entropy of a source. So first of all, when we calculate the entropy, uh, that is nothing but the another name of average information. So uh, when there are a lot of sequence, uh, there are long sequence coming up from the source, then we always look for the average information. So how do we calculate the average information? So suppose this is average information or entropy of any information of or any F source that is given by actually summation i is equal to 1 to n and uh, probability of xi log base 2 1 upon probability of xi. So this is the information which is carried by the source on an average. Okay, so this is an average information. So that is why I have written expected value of information. What do you mean by expected value? That is nothing but the average value. So this is one formula that you all know that this is how you calculate the entropy of any source. Now suppose the source is extended and you want to calculate the entropy of that extended source. Then how can you calculate? So what do you mean by extension of a source? An extension of a source is the new source which results when the emitted symbols are considered in a group. So we often find it useful consider the blocks rather than individual symbols. We don't transmit the individual symbols. We also look for the blocks of the uh, symbols. So we may view uh, each such block as being produced by an extended source with a source alphabet s to the power n that has k to the power n distinct blocks where k is the distinct number of symbols in the source alphabet s of the original source. So these are some technical uh, word I have used and in case of discrete memory low source, the source symbol are statistically independent and the probability of the source symbol is s to the power n is equal to the product of probabilities of the n source symbols in the constituting uh, in s constituting the particular source symbol in s to the power n. So what do you mean by that? So first of all, suppose you have a source, okay, suppose you have a source and uh, this source is having the symbols S0, S1 and S2. So instead of that, uh, uh, suppose you have an extended source that is X, S to the power 2. In that case, uh, you will make a block of two symbols pairing this S0 with S0, S0 with S1, S0 with S2. Similarly, S1 with S0, S1 with S1 and S1 with S2 and S2 with S0, S2 with S1 and S2 with S2. So this is now called extended source of second order. Extended source of order 2. Okay, or you can say that second order extended source. Now I want to calculate the probability uh, entropy or the average information of this extended source. Okay, so how do you calculate? So is because uh, this particular extended source is made up from the original source S. Now you can calculate the entropy of this source. Okay, entropy of the original source like you can say H of S. Entropy of the source S that is H of S and then multiply it with the order of the extended source. So here the extended source has the order 2. So you can say that the extended source will have entropy H of S is square. That is extended source entropy is nothing but the twice of the entropy of original source. So this will be your answer. So this is how you calculate the entropy of any order extension, nth order extension. So you can see here the entropy of the extended source is equal to n times of h of s. That means if there is a source s and you are making, uh, you are extending the source by order n, then you just need to multiply by the order of the extension with the entropy of the source. So this is the trick to calculate the entropy of the extended source. 
this will be very helpful if there is a uh, question coming from, to calculate the information rate and, and channel capacity etc then you can calculate the entropy of extended source quickly with the help of this otherwise what you would have done uh, you have to calculate the probability of each symbol present in s square and then you will apply this particular formula that is uh, summation i equal to 1 to n probability and log base to 1 upon probability then you get the entropy of that extended source but instead of doing that you can just multiply with the order of the extension multiplied order of the extension multiplied with the original entropy of the source thank you for watching this Trichopedia session I will bring another shortcut trick for you from the communication and EMFT in the next coming session. Thank you.